I find it pretty wild that people are upset over Trump's cabinet picks and various uh, non-Senate confirmed post picks. We knew who this guy was. We know who he is. And um, Matt Gates for like Attorney General, that makes sense. Why not let the uh, the PDF file in charge of the Justice Department? Some Fox News guy who served in the military but never had any sort of command be in charge of the military. Tulsi Gabbard in charge of our intelligence organizations because she's a paranoid conspiracist who may have worked in psyops in the military. I couldn't be bothered to learn her entire story. The shock. The uh, threat that the Senate may have to block some of these confirmations. I mean, they should, but I think the pretense that there is going to be some rising wave of anti-Trump sentiment in the Republican Party is childish and absurd, considering where we are. Um, the EPA guy who has no understanding of environmental protection, Elon Musk and Vivek Wamaswamy, or however you say it, are going to be in charge of Doge. Like, seriously, we're going to set up a government organization to fulfill a meme. That seems on point for where we are. I hope we're all proud of ourselves. I, of course, voted for Kamala Harris and Tim Walls. I wasn't super excited about it. I'm not a liberal. I'm a leftist. But in the clear and present danger of Donald Trump, Kamala Harris was perfectly acceptable, I suppose. And for all those people who did the protest votes, I hope, as things go down the path, I can presume they will. We'll see if mass deportations happen. If they do, I am so very sorry for the families affected by it. But this is what has to happen now. I suppose I'm feeling a bit like an accelerationist at this point. This is what you want. This is what you get. Uh, not sure why I'm supposed to pretend to care that people are regretting their choices. As like Midas Touch and other progressive sites are saying that there's these Trump voters who are like, Oh, I didn't think this would happen. First of all, I don't necessarily believe that is widespread. I think they're taking particular people who have said, oh, I didn't really realize when they said no exemption for rape or incest, that was what they meant, despite the fact that they said it very effing clearly many, many times. There's the Maya Angelou quote that everyone keeps going with. If someone tells you who they are, believe them the first time. Like, it's a good quote, but if it's not being done in reality, then there's no reason to regard the quote as useful. No disparagement on my Angelou. But, uh, this is where we are. It's depressing. It's mildly disgusting. I vote Democrat because there's nothing else to vote for as a leftist. And I'm not like as hardcore as some leftists say, I think electoral politics are by themselves unworthy of thought. It's what we have, so I'm going to participate. I do think that it's not going to get us across the finish line if you want actual progress. There are channels like Second Thought, uh, The Program, Ugopnik, Hakeem, Thought Slime, like bunches of them. Uh, American Johnson, non-compete. Uh, his wife or girlfriend also has a channel who 
name I can't remember, so I'm not going to quote it. Uh, Chill Goblin. Like, there's a shit ton of, like, leftist sites. The Surf Times, Sam Cedars, Minority Report. Like, you can get information. You don't have to just take the mainstream view of things. And it may be worth not doing that. If you're not bothered by this or you're pro-Trump and you think the best is yet to come, that's why I think I'm becoming an accelerationist. Maybe we need to watch the world burn because the people who think a bunch of billionaires are going to protect their rights despite Elon Musk actually trying to shut down any movement toward unions, he's going to be the guy who's going to get you across the finish line. Good for you. I hope that works out. When it doesn't, the saddest thing is you're going to blame immigrants. You're going to blame non-white people, women, whatever. None of this is ever on you. You put Trump in office, and now you have to deal with what comes. And maybe six months from now, I'm going to have to go, I can't believe how brilliant Donald Trump is. He solved all of the problems. I'm not worried about that because that's not what's going to happen. But, you know, best of luck. To those on the left and minority groups, I'm so sorry that you're going to go through this. <sighs> but this is where we are. And it's tragic. And it sucks. And a lot of good people are going to be hurt. But that's what we decided America is. I'll report back later, but... We've got under two months of freedom left. And we'll see what happens after that. If you're not left, you're left behind. Cheers. Cheers.